just wanted to start with you. I mean, is your job made a little bit easier when you manage to get a cast like this? Is your job just kind of just to stay out of the way and let the guys do the work, as it were? Yeah, it certainly doesn't hurt. I mean, you're not going to sit and tell, like, Annette Benning how to act. And so, yeah, it's, it was such a treat. The movie is shot in different segments, and so every one or two weeks I would get to work with another actor of, like, Olivia's caliber. And every day was exciting and fresh. And um, so, yeah, like, you don't, it's, you kind of try and stay out of the way a little bit. Olivia, have you? I mean, what was it about this particular script that spoke to you? Because it's a very interesting character, but also there's all these other things going on as well. I just love Dan's writing, and I thought this script, it spans generations, and it delivers these gut punches, but then just pepper, it's just peppered with humour. And I just, I really went on a ride with this script when I read it, and I, I just think it was, I just thought it was just so wonderful, and I just, I would want to work with Dan again anyway. Fantastic company of actors for yourself as well. I mean, seeing them work in these other segments was great as well, I can imagine. Yeah, and then getting to see them bring the work to life on the screen, it was just wonderful. Dan, I thought the piece you wrote about your mum and stuff was so beautiful, and it is an interesting point about sentimentality and the role it has in modern life. What do you kind of, can you expand a little bit on that and where you think that kind of sits with us? Well, I, I've always felt that the human experience is wildly sentimental. I think if you ask any of the people standing around here about their childhood or their parents or their children or their spouses or their fathers and mothers and brothers and sisters, they would get sentimental real quick. Even, even English folk, I, I would imagine. And No? No, I would, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. and so, yeah, I mean, I think, I think that um, we tend to shy away from it in our art because nobody, it's, it's a challenging thing sometimes to, to wear your heart on the sleeve artistically. But I, also, I think it, if you're trying to make something about life, you have to show the ups and downs and joys and sorrow and, and love. And with that comes a degree of sentiment. Why, yeah, why do you think we do shy away from it so much? Because it's, it puts you in a very vulnerable position and people don't really want to show that, se that side of themselves. I think in this, you know, we're always trying to seem strong and that we've got our stuff together. And I think that kind of opens a valve that we don't want open sometimes, but it's very healthy to have that catharsism. I think particularly recently, like if you look, the last 10 years, there's been a shift of um, not wanting to put, you know, to, to kind of like, um, yeah. You know, it, the world's got it. It's got the, the, it, the internet has made the world a slightly more vitriolic. And I think, yeah. and I think it makes um, it much easier to be the, the, it's cool to be cynical. Cool to be cynical, yeah. and so, and I think less cool to be unabashedly sentimental. Yeah. You uh, make a career out of sentimentality and yes. writing sentiment sentimental things with uh, this disaster, etc. What are you trying to say with this particular film, as opposed to something like this is us? Because you know there has been comments, and I want to know myself, having seen it this morning. What the fuss is about? What, what's your what's your take? Well, no, you know, I think the film is a challenging, difficult film. It's it's meant metaphorically. To, we're in a challenging, difficult time right now. I think it's a movie about a family and a group of characters who are shaped by tragedy. And um, the world can be a difficult, harsh place. The goal of the film was to kind of present a group of characters who go through a lot and then come out on the other end with a message that is hopefully uplifting and life-affirming despite it all. And um, I think that was kind of what I was attacking. We're in a place right now where things can sound pretty dark and uh, and I continue to believe in the power of people and love and all that other cheesy stuff. So, Very quick, uh, happy news. Um, the Royal Baby today, what's your what's your uh, comments on that? It's quick. Oh, I thought I was I have been, I'm sure the math has been done, but I, the, uh, I, I, they seem like a lovely young couple and I'm very happy for the royal family. Yeah, ecstatic. Don't know him, but he's honestly so ecstatic. ecstatic. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!